Hello, welcome to part 2 of this series. Let's move to question number 21. In PNF, D1 flexion of the lower limb hip joint moment will be Option A, flexion, abduction, internal rotation Option B, flexion, adduction, external rotation Option C, flexion, adduction, internal rotation Option D, flexion, abduction, external rotation And the answer is Option B, flexion, adduction, external rotation. Now let's move to question number 22. When two unequal forces acting at different points and in opposite direction produce dash moments in the body. Option A, flexion. Option B, extension. Option C, rotation. Option D, adduction. And the answer is Option C, rotation. Now let's move to question number 23. The term joint play means the moment that is Option A not under control Option B not possible with muscle contraction Option C both of above Option D none of above And the answer is Option C both of above Now let's move to question number 24 If a joint articular surface is more congruent then there is more Option A slide or glide Option B rolling Option C spin Option D all of the above And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 25. In manual muscle testing moments against the gravity with minimal resistance is dash. Option A, A weak. Option B, fair. Option C, good. Option D, normal. And the answer is... Option C, good. Now let's move to question number 26. All are the types of stretches except one. Option A, ballistic. Option B, mechanical. Option C, cyclic. Option D, linear. And the answer is... Option D, linear. Now let's move to question number 27. When two pulleys are used, the effort required is dash. Option A, reduced half. Option B, reduced greater. Option C, increased half. Option D, increased to one third. And the answer is... Option A, reduced half. Now let's move to question number 28. Duration of stretch hold is normally recommended to be dash. Option A 5 to 10 seconds. Option B 10 to 15 seconds. Option C 10 to 20 seconds. Option D 30 to 60 seconds. And the answer is Option C 10 to 20 seconds. Now let's move to question number 29. Point just before failure in stress strain graph is called. Option A, plastic range. Option B, ultimate strength. Option C, elastic limit. Option D, toe region. And the answer is... Option B, ultimate strength. Now let's move to question number 30. The joint mobility scale score of 0, 1 and 2 indicates. Option A, normal. Option B, hypermobility. Option C, hypermobility. Option D, unstable. And the answer is... Option B, hypermobility. Now let's move to question number 31. Neurophysiologic effect of manipulation is Option A. Pain relief Option B. Relief of spasm Option C. Relief of muscle guarding Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Now let's move to question number 32. Mechanical effect of manipulation is Option A. Stretching of collagen Option B. Increased duplication Option C. Increased sinoid fluid circulation Option D, all of the above. And the answer is... Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 33. Complication of joint manipulation can be... Option A, death. Option B, damage to articular structures. Option C, damage to heart tissue. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is... Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 34. Force applied perpendicular to cross section area of the muscle tissue is Option A. Compression Option B. Tension Option C. Shear Option D. Torque And the answer is Option B. Tension Now let's move to question number 35. Joint manipulation is also known as Option A. HVLAT Option B. Grade 5 mobilization Option C. Mobilization with thrust Option D. All of the above and the answer is Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 36. Red flags for joint mobilization means Option A, precautions. Option B, indications. Option C, contraindications. Option D, positive factors. And the answer is 
option C contraindications now let's move to question number 37 muscle bulk is provided by mainly dash fibers option A elastin option B actin option C myosin option D reticulin and the answer is option D reticulin now let's move to question number 38 thrust manipulation for a joint is done at the option A beginning of the range of motion option B middle of the range of motion option C end of the available range of motion option D all of the above and the answer is option C end of the range of motion now let's move to question number 39 which orthotic device is for a permanent common peroneal nerve injury option A KFO option B HKFO option C AO option D AFO and the answer is option D AFO now let's move to question number 40 with thrust manipulation the therapeutic benefit is expected option A immediately option B after 24 hours option C after 1 week option D all of the above and the answer is option A immediately so that's all for today if you have any doubts please do mention in the comment box i'll be back with part 3 soon see you then bye bye thank you